Hey, what's up, everybody? Good morning. Um, today we are in ZSAN. Um, I'm in at about three dollars and nine cents, three oh nine. Um, right now we're at three dollars and eighteen cents for a share. This is a biotech company. Just came out with uh, some good news. I think they're trying to pump it. Um, past hour three twenty. See, I put my. This is my order right here. I put my order in at three twenty five. So hopefully we touch 325 and I sell out make a quick maybe 150 200 bucks um, 321 so we're four cents away um, let me take you right here right here we see the you know I like e trade a little better because it shows the green and uh, the volume a little better and the level two a little better than think or swim but we just touched 320 so we have a lot of bidders right here at 319 320 they just got filled off the bid so um it down ticked for a couple pennies we have a wall of sellers at 320 i'd like to get through them wall of sellers um i could easily pull my order in right now for 320 but i want to really want to break through this wall of sellers i want to see if it could break through right now we're at 321 so let's take it back to think or swim just for uh, one minute 322 so we need three pennies to get closed out. See, this is my order right now. A thousand shares, bam. I should get filled right now, you guys, because just touched 325. I guess I didn't get filled yet. We're at 322 right now. I need a couple more bidders, 322 more bidders. Got a few sellers at 323. Times and sales are looking good. A little bit of red, a little bit of green. Um, that's all we go for, you guys. I would just try to capture the meat of the move. You know, we don't try to aim for home runs. And we try to capture a little bit every day. A little bit here so we can grow our accounts. So the more we play with, the more we can make. As long as you cut your losses quick, guys. I always go for low float stocks because... This thing got volume on, um, I think it's an 8 million or 10 million float stock. So, I could cancel, I could close my order out at 322, but I really just want to, um, let the chart play out. You know, I ignore, uh, I ignore how much the money is and a lot of, I just let the chart play out. So, let's get rid of this. We're still at 322. We got bidders at 320. We got a little wall of sellers at 322. This thing is moving up. It's a uh, 13% up on the day right now. Let me close this, you guys. I'm asking 325 for my order. So see another little down tick to 320 touch 323 which gives me a little hope 319 right now um sometimes i like to lock in profit sometimes i like to let the chart play out this thing i've been patient with it all morning it's actually probably my um longest trade ever i usually don't stay in a trade more than like 10 15 minutes this thing's taken like, maybe an hour so far and um yeah, it's a biotech. Um, they just released news that the biotechs are hot industry, blah, blah, blah. I think they're pumping it. So we don't really care what the catalyst is. I don't really care what the company is. I basically trade the ticker, trade the price action. It's a five-minute chart. If I take it to a one-minute chart, see, we're at 322 right now. Let me zoom in, 321. See, as you can tell, it's been in this channel all day. So I have a little bigger channel right here. This is my higher resistance. This is my um, short-term support. This is a long, a little longer-term support, and this is longer-term support. Um, I was just trying to capture 15 cents, you guys, and um, I don't even want. See, I, I look at the most key resistance and key support. So I play a little. It's kind of a little channel if you look at it, but we're not going for home runs, you guys. We're building in our accounts and we're trying to build our account so if you guys go for home runs i don't think it's a good idea because a lot of times those things will come right back down i was up the other day um maybe a hundred dollars on another company a couple hundred dollars and then i watched the thing go all the way right back down 
um, and lost like I lost maybe three hundred, four hundred dollars. So with listed stocks, Nasdaq stocks like this, they're a little choppier. They're not like OTC stocks. So I see every little bit it holds, then it goes a little up. It holds, then it goes a little up. It holds. So right now I see like real, real low short-term support at right here somewhere 315 you know sometimes it drops right here but all my bidders and all my bidders keep pushing it right back up I just like to get through the wall of sellers every time like there's a level I see a wall of sellers I don't know if people are scalping like they'll buy at 315 and sell it automatically at 318 or you know this is all ma manipulated you know like we always say level two is always filled with lies you guys so don't trust level two um just keep an eye use it for a guide times and sales it's showing a little weaker but it's all right you guys I'm gonna hold this overnight um, I mean it's, uh, I might hold this overnight if I if, if it holds my support line but you see I put an order in at 325 so if it touches my 325 I'll be selling automatically but at the same time I don't have a stop loss because I don't believe in stop losses. I don't trust market makers. I don't trust, you know, all these shady characters in the market. They just want to take your money. So, yeah, I put a sell order in, but at least they don't see my stop order and try to get me out of here. So, good luck, everybody trading today. Thanks again, Tim Sykes, best teacher in the world. You guys should get into this. It's really not hard, not that hard if you just play the charts, study charts. I could care less about the fundamentals. I could care less about the EPS, how much money they have. I look at the debt, the float, and the price action, guys. So basically play charts, much better, much safer. Um, always like always cut losses quickly. And I've kind of adapted to cutting losses intelligently, like Tim Gratani says. Um, I was down like 30, 40 bucks earlier, and I, I didn't cut losses because, you know, I let the chart play out you know it's been holding in this channel for a while so we'll see what happens we're at 320 you guys right now so we're up about 11 cents per share good luck to everybody trading thank you for watching have a good one thank you